we have finally made it to our very, very last video of this teaching tutorial. So we have created our game boards and they are just about ready to play. If you remember in the very first video, I told you I had a surprise in store for you. And that surprise is that we are going to create a very cute spinner, a digital spinner that we can use with our digital game boards. So we are going to come over to a website called Wheel of Names and you are going to be able to find that in the description below. And we're going to use our sunshine clip art, okay, to create this spinner that we can later pair with our game at any time just by using the link that we create. So you'll notice on this side, I've already done this just to save you some time, but you're going to insert your sunshine clip art um, just by hitting this button here, okay? So you would just go in and select it and hit open, and it's going to process right here, okay? So go ahead and do that, give it a try, and you can customize it with the colors that you want to have displayed in this board or this spinner. You can also designate whether there's gonna be sound or applause, so kind of play around with that. You can do that all on your own. And then when you want to share it and get that link, you're going to just go to the share button and hit continue. And then it's going to say, what should a person be able to do when they use your shared link? And you can select either of these, but I'm going to go with this top one. And it's going to give us a link, a copy link. And you'll want to save that so that when you have your boom cards and you're ready to play them, you can pull up the spinner in another window. Okay, so I'm going to make this into a separate window and make this one, let's see, make it bigger. I'm going to combine these. I like to do it like this. Um, so I'm going to make my spinner a little bit smaller and then when I'm playing the game, okay, I can go ahead and move out the blue piece and move out the yellow piece, okay, and we're going to have blue go first and blue is going to spin. And we've got a one, so then I would move one space. Okay, and that's how you would take turns using this digital spinner. So I hope you have enjoyed this teaching tutorial thoroughly. I've really loved creating for it, creating it for you. <laughs> and um, I'm a little tired after having made it, but I think it's going to be super helpful for you. So please, please leave a comment below if you enjoyed this and if you would like to see future teaching tutorials. I would be so happy to support other educators and therapists who are interested in creating game-based learning for their students.